Four examines distribution changes and debt obligations, specifically the effect of the change of sales tax distribution on the ability of the political subdivision to meet short-term and long-term debt. Uh, and the source of this is uh, financial reports from 2010, as well as things that are available through uh, the Carl Benson Institute of Government as well. But here's a, an analysis basically of the debt that each local government has. And you can see that um, it's also aggregated into capital leases, revenue bonds, uh, and the like from uh, the Georgia Environmental Facilities Authority, and also notes uh, consolidated into the last line, which is all debt types. So you can see that the county, from, from the analysis that we have, has about $11.2 million in capital lease debt. And revenue bonds and GFA, which typically go for utilities and water sewer, is about $9.7 million for a consolidated total of $20,985,000. Uh, the smaller governments uh, don't have as much, certainly, but also have uh, quite a bit. We'll jump down to Valdosta and come back. Uh, Valdosta has about $34.2 million in revenue bonds and GFA debt, and also uh, $7 million in uh, authority debt but it consolidates to all debt types of $41.415 million. The local governments have a consolidated number, including Hayhira, of around, uh, around $3 million. So when you add up all of the uh, municipal debt, you can see a total of around $44.674 million, which is a greater share of the, uh, of the debt pie, 68% uh, compared to 31%. And this is just another factor to examine in uh, local option sales tax criteria. 